again to South Korea and watch my journey with over $80,000 worth of plastic surgery. Let's go. Finally here. This is where I'll be coming tomorrow. So it's 29 and I just picked up Hazel from her apartment. And we're going to my apartment to be roommates. up in one hour. I'm here with Miss Hazel. <laughs> She's already banged and battered but um, I'm about to get banged and battered now and I'm about to get bruised up. We're just trying on our last minute bikinis for like just like before and after sort of vibes and yeah we're looking so forward to actually having some D cups sitting right here on my chest. See you soon babe. DocFinder Korea is the number one medical tourism company in Korea that offers lots of great value to your medical procedure and needs. Not only do they have many free services like medical advice, hospital and doctor information, as well as accommodation necessities, DocFinder Korea are here to help you and make your plastic surgery journey much easier. I came to DocFinder Korea back in 2019 as well as my new journey this year in 2023, and I can confidently say that they have made my experience a lot more fulfilling. I was lucky to have Anna as my case manager again. She was so helpful with picking me up to and from the airport, running errands, buying medicine, as well as a supply of pumpkin juice for my healing process, and providing all free transportation. That's just a small portion of what Dog Finder Korea has to offer. I highly recommend going with Dog Finder Korea, as most importantly, they care about your well-being. You can also see on their website some influencers reviews of Dog Finder and the work they have done, which is all being done in video content form which is better as you get to see a real and raw production. Hi guys, today we're back at ID Hospital. 
Mundo and we are going to do Blake's consultation. Are you excited for your consultation? I'm so excited. <laughs> We're getting a breast consultation. We just had a little look at the silicone ones behind us. So excited to be more snatched after this. And so happy to have Anna with me again. She's the best. <laughs> Let's go upstairs together. This is a textured type and this is a lot more smoother than this one. So both of them, they have good sensations for your breast area, but then for this is the most popular brand in Korea right now. The number one looks, looks more natural. Yeah, and okay. Okay. Cold, okay. Okay. Then this one, this one's a lot more natural. Love it. Then you hold Decision, uh, I heard you chose the Informa before, is it right? I think so, yeah. yeah so, and it gives you the fastest recovery and the least pain. So, most yeah. people I'll do that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Most <laughs> this decision. And secondly, the implant, uh, I heard you so, yeah. Yeah. right? So, the uh, newest technology shell implants. So, as you can see, like the former other companies usually have this kind of clear type of implants. It's called smooth type implant. Mm -hmm. And Motiva is the company that about 10 years ago, they made this first type of this, it's called micro textured uh, surface. So if you could touch it, it's kind of a little bit, little bit more bumpy than compared to this smooth type. Mm -hmm. And this uh, unique shell makes the implant uh, kind of get fixed in the position that we want and not to get like too much lateral or too much uh, medial. And it also prevents other side effects like rupture or a fracture or contracture, which causes asymmetry. So it's, called, it's supposed to be the most safest uh, implant there is right now. Most important is the size. And our goal of the breast surgery is basically two things. So we have to make the upper full filling very naturally looking uh, contour of the upper filling and also give you a very naturally looking cleavage. So I'm going to go from the smaller ones to the bigger ones. This is 250 cc's and this is one size bigger, 275. So you can see from Back in the mirror. Oh, that's 275. 275. So 250 is gonna give you like a regular beak up, and this oh. is gonna be like a full beak. Okay. So it's a pretty small size though. If we increase the size, this is 300. This is gonna give you about a regular C cup, not maybe like very full C cup or regular C cup. Mm -hmm. If we increase the size a bit more, this is about 325. This is gonna give you about a very close to full C cup. You can see from the sideways, on the right side, this is 325. If we add some more volume here, this is about 375. This is going to give you uh, definitely a decoupling. Yeah, I like that. If you want, you could go a little bit higher. 
Can I just yeah, I'll just what it looks like. My friend got um she's trans as well, she just got five hundred. Five hundred, yeah, she got like five forty five and very ambitious. And the operation takes about 40 to 50 minutes, so it's a very short oh. surgery. This is the chest wall distance. Width is about 14.3 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And from your clavicle to the nipple, it's about 18 centimeters. Okay. Thank you for waiting. This is your doctor. Yeah. 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 So what is your main concern right now, Blake? Can you tell me one more time? A lot of uh, like dented in on my temples, like mm. very masculine looking. Oh, so so I want that filled out. Um, my under eyes mm. a bit deep, mm. and then just a bit more of a defined jaw, mm. and that's about it. Oh, and maybe like a little bit of filler in my top mm. lip. Okay. See that area there? Mm -hmm. That's a salivary gland. Mm -hmm. So he's saying that in order to um, improve the salivary gland, we need to make a little incision behind the ear and put in a string called an elastic band in order to improve that area. It's going to go around and down just like this as he's pointing all the way to the other side of the ear. Mm -hmm. And then one more time, it's going to go around again. Mm -hmm. So two times. Mm -hmm. You don't have that much excessive fat, so we don't need to take out anything from this area. Can you hold the mirror one more time? Mm -hmm. So the thing that he thinks is mainly concerning is that it's a little bit bumpy on this area for the forehead. That's where the bones are. Mm -hmm. We're not going to put it to the point where it's like too bumpy. Like, you know, yeah, uh, we're just trying to solve the bumpiness okay. of this area, so you don't have to worry about that. And then the temple area, we're going to put in some fat um, as well. Nasolabial fold area to be like... Yes, yes. That's, um, I re I've got, when I wear makeup, I get a really deep line mm. in there. So I really want that like... To be the I would love to, mm. I would love to get a facelift to be honest, but I know okay. that's the way I'm here. Okay, hold the mirror. He said that your nasolabial fold is not that prominent when he looks at it right now. Mm. Mm. He's saying that when you have facial expressions, you know the lines that happens mm -hmm. after you make facial expressions, those cannot be improved through surgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's saying that if we don't make facial expressions and this side is very prominent, then we can try to improve it. He's saying that the uh, dense indents here area, we can try to improve it by thread lifting because you're young and you don't have that much sagging. So we can just try to improve it a little bit by the thread usage. Yeah. As long as like, that can just be lifted up the daily. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to make this a little bit more prominent for you. Yeah. I just arrived here at the hospital. I'm a red. I just arrived here at the hospital. I'm a. Oh my god. I just arrived at the hospital and I'm about to get discharged into my surgery. I am super excited to go along this new journey of mine. I'm not too nervous. I'm more so happy and excited to see what the outcome of this will give me. And I'm just super excited to feel content after this. And I know I will be with some breaths on my chest. So 
Let's hope it goes well. <laughs> Let's go for the surgery. Let's go inside to the room first so that you can get changed inside. Just ask Yeah. This one is your underwear. Just take off your bra. Keep your underwear. This one can wear. Okay. And there you can change with this pants and the gown. Okay. Just wait outside. Okay, nice. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the last time I'm saying it. Uh, yeah. I'm going to send a message to my mother and boyfriend. Oh, okay. Okay. Raise your right arm, please. And I'll bubble you up. Please look at the video. Mm -hmm. Look at this kid right here. No? So we're going to use the tension bands to re um, lift it up the, the salivary um, gland. Sorry, gland. So back rubbing on the forehead, on the side, and then the front cheek. And then we're going to use a thread lifting. Okay, cool. Okay, we're going to position back on the... Put your chin down a little bit and close your eyes. Hi, uh, I'm here today at the pharmacy because Blake uh, has went for her surgery and now I'm here because I'm gonna buy her prescription. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 